arrives from Cairo. We meet Ibrahim Enur and James Sunday. They are in Tübingen for a CMAPS conference, a measure to ensure optimal coordination between the partner universities. James and Ibrahim take the opportunity to connect with the AUC students currently in Tübingen. CMAPS students spend their third semester at the partner university, an integral part of the program. We have a variety of feedback from professors at both universities throughout. And so intertwined within the fabric of the program is a, a fundamental understanding that we approach Middle East politics and we approach comparative politics much better through having as much of a, a dynamic uh, complexion as we can. I, I think it is enriching for both, for both uh, students coming from Tübingen and uh, our students, uh, because the kind of discourse they have between them is very interesting. The topics of the two-year master program include comparative politics of the Middle East, development politics and international cooperation, as well as issues of regime change and democratization. The skills that the students gain from this program is uh, analytical and method-based, and in addition to an uh, in-depth knowledge of the political and social dynamics of the region. So the idea of the program is to include these two components, the practical aspect, as well as theoretical and methodological uh, dimension. They will be provided with all the qualifications a, good, a very good political scientist should have. But we pay attention to a strong disciplinary foundation as well as a basis. And then come the add-on qualifications like language knowledge, um, uh, international experience, not only experience, but actually an international profile of the students which they will have gained once they graduate. This profile is built in. Not only through mandatory internships, but the constant exchange with practitioners like representatives from international organizations. This provides the students with unique perspectives and opportunities. It's a huge potential that we have here by studying with the Egyptians, by going to Egypt to study there, to learn the language and to just have this kind of different perspective as well. I think also that the nature of the professors that we've been taught on, on uh, under or that uh, instructed us I think we have one of the, not one, a few of the very biggest names when it comes to Middle East politics. Like. I think it's very important for us to get an insight into this practical work. We have like this big incentive for actually looking actively for an internship and for having the opportunity to integrate it into the whole credit system. So um, yeah, I think CMAPS is doing that in a quite good way. Policymakers like Alexander Graf Lambsdorff stress the need for the program. Well, you're already mentioning it. The upheaval in the MENA region makes it even more important to engage with the region, to understand what is going on, to look which strands uh, of thinking are prevalent, where transition works, where it doesn't work, and why it works or doesn't work. So I think CMAPS is extremely timely and an extremely valuable contribution to European Arab understanding. The CMAPS master's degree is fully accredited in Europe, Egypt and the United States. A nod to the relevance of its program and alumni. Regardless of what path you take following, uh, you know, finishing this degree, the end goal is to have a more complete citizen um, who actually is critical of the world around them, who is able to adapt to changing environments. Thus, for students and faculty alike, CMAPS is an exchange and a journey well worth exploring. <laughs>